Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at Profile Manager. And we're going to talk specifically this week about how to enroll your Macs into the Profile Manager service. Now this is the Profile Manager interface and we set this up in a previous screencast. So if you haven't set this up yet, I'd recommend that you watch that screencast first. Uh, but once we have it set up and ready to go, you'll notice down here we have this My Devices area here, which we could click this link to open that in Safari, and that would take us to the My Devices page that allows you to enroll your devices in Profile Manager. Now what I'm going to do is show you how to do that with another machine I've got on my network here. So I've got a screen share uh, here that kind of shows you what that looks like. So here I am on a screen share with uh, Safari up. And in Safari, you just want to go uh, to the web address, type in HTTPS uh, with a colon and two backslashes, and then your server name, you know, server.example.com, with a backslash my devices. And when you do that, it'll take you to this login screen. So you have to put in your login credentials and then just click login. And this is the uh, My Devices page. Now right away you can see it's got this Mac, it's got this big enrollment button uh, to get it started, to get it enrolled, and the temptation is to push that right away. Uh, but you don't want to do that. Uh, there's another profile that we have to uh, install first to make sure that the enrollment works. So we're going to go up here to Profiles, and you notice here we've got this Settings for Everyone, which relates back to those Settings for Everyone that we saw in the Profile Manager setup uh, screencast that I did. Uh, right, so if I just say show contents, right, it'll set up things like VPN, messages, you know, contacts, calendar, all those kinds of things. All those services that you've got set up that can be automatically installed on devices, this is what that certificate will do or that profile. Now, we're not going to click that one yet either because the first thing we have to do is this trust profile right here. If I just say show contents, it's going to put a certificate on your Mac that tells it, hey, it's okay to go ahead and trust this server uh, with, uh, with content and all that. So that, that way when you're connected to the server, you're saying trust it. So we're going to go ahead and click install. So let me just hit install here. And it's going to download a profile. Uh, for me and you can see up here if I just click on this there's my trust profile and so I'm just going to uh, double click on that and what it's going to do is it takes me into uh, system preferences and it says hey I've got this trust profile for this server here do you want to accept it or not and so I'm just going to say continue to go ahead and accept that and it says hey are you sure you want to do that because you want to make sure you know the sender and you trust the sender before you do this I'm going to say yep that's fine go ahead and install it and so I have to authenticate And once I do that, I say OK. And now it's installed that certificate. And here it is. It's got the certificate right here under my profiles. And one of the things you'll notice, if I just come back here, is that it adds this new profiles area right here. So if I just click on this, it takes me back into this profile. And so I'm all set and ready to go. Now you notice it, it has this little red unsigned, doesn't know who we are, that kind of thing. Uh, I know it's my certificate because it's from my server, so I'm okay with it. Uh, I didn't purchase a certificate by a third-party verifier or anything like that. Okay, now we're here back on Safari. And so we've got already installed the trust certificate. So if I just go over to Devices, now I can enroll this Mac because I've already installed that trust certificate, so I know I'm good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Enroll here. And it's going to do a similar thing. It's going to download another set of certificates. If I just click on this, you can see I've got my MDM profile mobile config. So I'm going to double click on that. And again, it's going to take me back into this profile screen and just say, hey, do you want to set up this, uh, these certificates to allow for a certificate for mobile device management and for this uh, SCEP enrollment request? All right? It's got all that information in there. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say continue. And it's going to say, you sure you want to do this? Uh, because uh, the admin will be able to control, remotely administer the Mac. And that's what we want to do. That's why we're enrolling it in Profile Manager in the first place. So I'm going to say install. And it's going to install these certificates for me. And so it might take a few minutes to do that because it's installing more than one certificate. And there it is. So here's the certificate here. It's got the certificate. It's got the enrollment request. And it's got the mobile device management. So those profiles are all set and ready to go. Now, if I ever needed to get rid of these uh, certificates, I could always just click the minus here. And then I'm unenrolled. It would just take, care of the, take the profile off. And I'd be done with it. And I wouldn't have to worry about that at all. 
So now I've got all of that enrolled. So let's go back into Safari now and see what it looks like. Okay, so now that we're back inside Safari, you'll notice that it has recognized that I'm enrolling a MacBook. You'll notice that it's got the serial number information right here. And just from this screen, my users could lock their Macs or they could wipe their Macs. Just by logging into this My Devices screen, it would take care of it just, just like that. Uh, they could also at any time just remove, right here, if I just click remove, that would remove this particular device from the server and all the profiles would be removed and it would no longer be enrolled in Profile Manager. Now once they've got this, if they wanted to come back on profiles, they could just click this Settings for Everyone and install uh, this particular profile uh, to, be, to go ahead and make all of those settings uh, effective on the Mac itself. And so let me show you what that would look like to do that. I'm going to hit this install button here. It's going to do another download. And we're just going to come in here and I'm going to double click on the settings for everyone mobile config. And you say, hey, you sure you want to install this because it's going to install um, all of these different services, right? It's going to install address book. It's going to install uh, the OS 10 server account, the calendar account, the VPN service, and all of that. And if I just uh, if I just say show profile here, you can see it'll give me information on all of this, right? It's just telling me what it's going to install. Now, once I use this to install that uh, in here, then it's going to go ahead and put all of those different settings in there just the way I have it. Now, because I've already demonstrated how these different settings work and I've already installed most of them manually, I'm, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to cancel this so that it doesn't install. But I just wanted to show you that you could do this from Profile Manager all in one shot. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel and not install that. And then nothing's been done and we're fine. So let me just go back in here to Server. Okay, so that uh, shows you how to enroll uh, your devices, uh, roll your Mac uh, into your Profile Manager. If I was just to click here, let me just click on this Profile Manager Open Safari. And it's going to log get me uh, to the login screen here. Let me just click Login. And so now we're all logged in here. And if I go to Devices, you'll notice now my MacBook is showing right here and it's enrolled and ready to go in Profile Manager. So you can do that now for all of your Macs and you'd be able to manage them. And we're going to go into more detail on how to manage them here on the server. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.